Joe Burrow looking for a bounce back year after appearing in only 10 games. Now after the following quote, he may appear on the bulletin board. Stay tuned. Oh. He joined a to be released New Heights podcast. Okay, so this is from Kelsey's podcast, but we weren't able to get the sound, but this was released early. We both work really hard, him and Mahomes, at what we do. They've got great players, the Chiefs, and we've got great players, the Bengals. I think we, the Bengals, match up pretty well with them. We're kind of built to beat them. Uh-oh. He said that to Jason? We don't quite know. I said, Hubs, can we have the sound? And he said, no, it's on the New Heights podcast, but that's soon to be released. Right, so it was like a pro- the Right, I get it. it. Was just like he was a- talking like he wasn't talking to Travis. It, it sounds that's, like that, but it doesn't sure. matter. Well, it kind it of was said. It was said. Well, it was said. It was said in <laughs> Never. The tone. Maybe, yeah, the tone. Never does. has. Yeah, the tone matters. Yeah. Okay, well, you know what? We're doing the topic anyway. And I'm sorry to do tone. this because yeah, Dusty, nice. uh, the board, and I want America really? to look closely at last year's board, and you'll see a lot of Joe Burrow's co-workers. Mm-hmm. You won't see Joe Burrow, who was smart enough to stay out of the, the morass of this. But now we have next year's board which is not quite as populated, but growing bigger by the day. Dusty, flip the board, please. And look who's right there. Built to beat them. Never has one fluke of one half of one playoff game gotten more run. Okay, since that one playoff game, Wilds, the Chiefs have won two Super Bowls and the Bengals have won two playoff games. And by the way, it may be... Building your team to beat the Chiefs so you can win in overtime and Mahomes is one bad half of football of his damn life. Chill out on is the a, overtime stuff. He just won the Super Bowl in overtime. Yeah, That's Brock Purdy. The, and Brock Purdy can't get any credit. Okay, well, Brock Purdy, can we please have a football? Well, just say you're like dissing overtime now. You're dissing the, overtime. No, I'm <laughs> dissing a game from two year, two and a half years ago that has been the the calling card of this team's franchise since Boomer Esiason so left. They are left. three and one. The, I mean, can I, can I show you a graphic? So I pulled up a graphic. Okay. Do you think it's fair if Patrick if, to say Patrick Mahomes has Lamar Jackson's number? I do. He's four and one against him. Or Philip Rivers? I do. He's three and one against him. Well, Joe Burrow is three and one against Mahomes. Oh, so if anything, he's allowed to say we're built to beat them okay. because he literally does. Well, then let me ask this question. And don't bring is, up like, well, the Chiefs can beat is, the Bills. He's not talking about the beating the Bills. Okay, Chiefs can beat the Bills. But 49ers. the last two times that. these teams have played, the Chiefs have won. So, it, it, so if you're built to beat them, you maybe should beat them more than that one time in overtime two years ago. But more importantly is this question I have for you, Brew. Let's assume this quote is true. Okay? Wow. Let's just assume it's true. I assume. Is it maybe a mistake? Is maybe building your team to beat the Chiefs why since Burrow's gotten there, you're 9-15 and in your own division? Maybe worry about your own backyard first before you start glazing over at the neighbors. Uh, What do you mean he's hurt? He was hurt. What? Last year, when he was a year before he last, he was fully healthy. Nine, they were three and three. He, he, the, he or the Bengals? The Bengals are Bengals. nine and fifteen. He, he, got, he was the, good for six games last the, year. Okay, so Jake Browning the, was, you know, right, Jake, Jake Browning came Brown in there dealing. Dusty, put Jake Browning on the board because Joe Burrow <laughs> doesn't belong on the I'm, board. Was Joe Burrow there week one when they lost? I'm sorry, I don't remember. Was he? The, you guys tell me because he was. He was there the, in, in physical presence, but okay. the real Joe Burrow wasn't there. Okay, he and had I, a bad calf. He couldn't oh, throw the ball more than. Okay. 20 yards down the field, there yards. The, the, go ahead, bro. No, I, I got to be honest. I'm a <laughs> bit baffled as to why Joe would say this. Thank you. It ha- The trash talking wilds, I get it. It hasn't worked out. The Burrow head, all that stuff, it yes. didn't work it's out. three and one. He, it, yeah. Mike Burrow should concentrate on staying healthy. All right? Two of his four years, injuries have really been a problem. And to come out and start talking, and, and I like it. It's it's his personality, all that, the swagger. But come on, all right. So I, how I about just, he needs to concentrate Wilds. on being healthy, not talking well, I don't trash. Know if talking to the trash. Defend, if he was talking trash, champs. juggling, you know, the chainsaws. He was just talking. He was on Travis the Kelsey's podcast. Yeah. Talking mess. We're He's three and one. Beat. Okay. When can you talk trash? You're when, three and one. And here's when. What do you got to do? Wilds. Here's when. I'll tell you exactly when. 
when the last time you played, when you had a chance to go to the Super Bowl, when you were the favorite, when the other quarterback was injured, you had the ball multiple times to go win the game, and you threw a fourth quarter pick, mm -hmm. and then you, it went five and out, and you punted, and you lost. In the playoffs to go to the Super Bowl, when that's the last result that you were involved in, you don't get to talk. When you have to go back to when Jimmy Garoppolo was still the quarterback for the San Francisco 49ers to find the last time you beat this team, and since then they have held up the trophy both years, you don't get to talk. And Joe, to his credit, understood that last year. But now the memory of that stinging defeat at Burrowhead Stadium has faded, evidently. You know what? After this uh, discussion, I got another suggestion for the board. What? Wild. This guy, Wilds? Wilds. Guys, Wilds. we have to tell the truth on the show. The, the guy's 3-1. and one. Oh, he's won in the last two years. Who cares? Who, they he's 3-1 in his career. Them, and they lost he's 3-1. He's 3-1. and, one. He's three and one. There's no debate. Put, put Wilds on the board. Put me on the board. <laughs> Afternoon headline sponsored by Ram Trucks. Check the serve. comments on the pod with JJ. <laughs> Mahomes named one of Time's most influential people of the year. In a wide-ranging article, Mahomes talks about the longevity needed to be considered an all-time great, but does know he's off to a pretty good start. Quote, he's now entrenched in the GOAT conversation. Brady won his third Super Bowl MVP when he was 37 years old. We start counting MVPs now, I guess. Uh, Montana was 33. Mahomes just 28. I've had at least one of the top three starts to a career, says Mahomes. I'll put it that way. Yeah, solid. Your reaction, Nick? Well, it's unquestioned the best first seven years of any NFL player ever. And by I'm doing when I say seven, that includes the year he didn't play right. at all because it would just be six. fair to everybody. Uh, and so it's not top three start to a career. It's even better than Brady's start to a career because they are equal in yep. MVP. I'm sorry, in Super Bowl wins. But he's the force. And right, and right, he's got the MVPs. He also has another appearance. But the other thing that separates him, and we'll see how long he can keep this going, is unlike any of the other all-time greats, never, never a stumble. Never a down year. Never uh, miss the playoffs. Never, uh, you know, for Peyton Manning, playoffs, playoffs. Aaron Rodgers, first year as a starter. Brady, second year as a starter. All those guys, Montana had it. Like, none of it. And so he, we've never seen him bad. In fact, in his worst year he ever had, he won the Super Bowl anyway and was great the entire postseason. So, what I, he's 28. <clears throat> He'll be 28 when next season starts. So, I think he's going to have his fourth Super Bowl before he turns 30. Mm. Could he have five before he's 32? If he's 28 now, is that a reasonable? Like, yeah. it's not he unreasonable. Said the whole new right. D and, it, put it this way, quick, and I'll be yeah, quick no. so you can finish. I can't even fathom him going a decade without winning the Super Bowl. And that's not a shot at Brady, but I'm just saying it. Can you the, even fathom and, that? And I know point? some people would have said, well, we couldn't fathom that with Aaron, right? And Aaron went more than that. But the difference but he's is, already proven. And, and, right, he's, he's already proven that. that there's the moment will never be too big for him. Mm -hmm. He's proven he can play through injury. Yeah. Obviously, because it's football, you know, devastating injury can throw things off. And he is miles better than Brady was – as a player at this point of his career. And so for all, like, no, I don't think a drought is coming. And no matter what my pal Mike Florio tries to stoke to the media, Andy Reid's not going anywhere anytime soon. And so for all those reasons, like, I, Patrick is being humble, and I appreciate that. He's had the best start to yeah, a career ever. Course. And I think, I think right now in Vegas, if you set the, you know, odds, like what does he finish his career at Super Bowl-wise, what do they set it at? Five and a half? They said at five and a half, I would hammer the over. Yeah. They said it at six and a half. Six it's a hard a bet, a but lot. that's but it's but it's not. He's going to run into some it's, bad luck, though. You know, you're going to get the, the. But I feel six like six is a really good number. Like he'll win six Super but, Bowls. That's a good number. But go ahead. You, so w when Josh Allen talks about the Super Bowl, we're like pump the brakes. Mm -hmm. Even when Joe Burrow starts flirting with the Super Bowl, we say pump the brakes. And Mahomes is always very careful to keep the moment right in front of him. But he was talking about um, how his wife sent him home at 4.30 a.m. because they had to go to Disneyland the next day. Mm -hmm. And then there was this, my favorite sentence. Oh, yes. Article. Oh, I saw this, too. <laughs> next year's Super Bowl, Mahomes points out, is in New Orleans. It's, quote, 
So it'd be Disney World if we go again. So he's already planning. He's like, it's a, you know, it's a short flight to Disney World once right. we win again. Also on Fox. Hey, hey. But we'll also be because time. that's because he's been, if the, if the Super Bowl's West Coast, you go to Disneyland. Yep. If the Super Bowl's East Coast, you go to Disney World. And I, I, I don't think people should look at it, Wilds, as six and a half. They should look at it as three and a half. Like, will Patrick Mahomes get to seven Super Bowls? It's will he get four more? Yeah. That, you know what I mean? Will it, Will Patrick Mahomes, who's 28 years old and has been in the final four every year of his career and been in the final the two. The Kelsey factor, i got to see him without Kelsey. We've never seen it. And Kelsey does seem the, locked in. Don't get me wrong. But i I got to see him without right, Kelsey. Right, but the, the, the other – and then, but the other question is – can't like how good is this defense going to continue to be? True. Right. And He's could young. he get either a Peyton Manning's last Super Bowl or Tom Brady's first Super Bowl one that, day? That was this you know, Super Bowl. Except he was he played he was amazing the he whole played playoff. Well, but the defense that no. Was, but I'm saying where he's not playing well and they win despite okay. it. Moment because it would mean kind of one of the saddest is the wrong word, but unceremonious ends of a dynastic run of any of the great dynasties ever. Like, the, they are one of the five. We can show the list I had earlier. One of the five greatest dynasties in NBA history, to me, without a question. Some people be like, where are Bird Celtics? But they won three, and they never won back-to-back. And the Lakers were a dynasty in the midst of it. Yep. So I don't wouldn't consider them on there. I think these are the only Not five. Not better than those. No, and, the, and I think these are the five. Because I, the LeBron's Heat were not a dynasty, in my opinion. No. The, and so, if they weren't, no, you know. So th- that's what it is. Russell Celtics ended with a ch- game seven championship win, and he retired. Jordan's Bulls ended with a game six championship win, and he retired. Kareem and Magic's Lakers ended with a loss to the team they just beaten in the finals the previous year, Detroit, going for the third. They were going for a third straight, and Kareem retired. Shaq and Kobe's Lakers won three in a row, had a down year, came back the next year, were in the finals, lost, and Shaq was traded. Mm -hmm. That was, uh, what's the word? Not dirty. That was uh, messy, pardon me, the the end of it. But it wasn't with a whimper. They were in the finals. For the Warriors to go championship, to Bron beats him in round two, to out in the play into the little brother Kings, it's... It's a brutal end that that would be so brutal, Brew. And this is to now answer the direct question. I don't think Clay's back. And if Clay's not back, then Steph has to ask himself the tough questions. The, the, we're broken up already. So do I want to stay <clears throat> and be middling? Yeah. Or do I want to chase more championships? Not necessarily attach myself somewhere, but a team that has more flexibility and ability and not as much kind of emotional baggage. Mm. So I think that's all on the board. Well, for addressing the first point you said about they would go out with a whimper. Now, Bird's Celtics weren't on there, but we no. know they didn't go out strong Correct. either. Bird was banged up with the back yeah. injury and all that stuff. And a mini dynasty, kind of like the Heat, Isaiah Thomas's Pistons. You know, they Isaiah yeah. got hurt, and they kind of went out, you know, yep. similar to Bird. So this isn't terribly unusual. And – like, I, I, however they won it a couple years ago, you know, it was, like, sh- stunning that they were able to win that. Like, I, I don't think it'll be a shocker if, if they lose and it's broken up. It's like, I mean, Steph's 36. We forget that. Like, he's yeah. 36 years old. And he's playing with so much house money because of the four rings. He's the only small player ever that a dynasty was built around. Yep. Isaiah had the mini dynasty, but he's the only one where a full dynasty was built around, so he's playing with so much house money. If they lose, I'm not going to be looking at it like, wow, like it's sad it ended this way because it's just been coming. You've seen it coming the last few years. Now, I don't think he wants to go anywhere else, and I definitely think, for even if they lose Clay, I think for next year at least, like I think he wants to end his career in Golden State. But I think next year at the very least he would go back and they'll try to get some young shooters maybe, certainly I hope a big, and try to make it make a run. You know, Clay would be a big mm-hmm. loss, but they've, you know, Clay's not their core anymore. You know, it's sad to say, but – but after next year, and if he's still playing well and it goes badly, then maybe he'll want to go somewhere else, but I'm not sure. 
if they lose tonight and the season is over, we are going to look back at a few moments in this year and say, mm, that's when it was. The same way that we looked at that little argument that Draymond and uh, KD had, well, it's like, oh, that's when KD right. decided to leave. Or and look this at last year, year and say, oh, that was the moment their title defense ended when Draymond punched a teammate. So here is the, here is the Draymond yeah. full screen where it's like, you know what? When he's playing and the big three are together, they're 32 and 19. If he, when he gets ejected, he's one and three. And when he doesn't play, and that includes a suspension, but also just regular yeah. rest or when he actually wasn't suspended but was still kind of yeah. gearing up. They're below 500, and now they're in a winner go home. And we saw early in the year, we saw Steph on the bench kind of despondent. I forgot which game that was. And then the game that um, he cried. He, he's weeping, man. Yeah. It's like I feel like that happened, and but the, the Draymond That's... stuff was so over the top. I was like, guys, the face of the league or one of it is covering his face and weeping into his jersey. It just felt like a moment in time. So that you time think he'll one out? I don't know if it won out, but he knew something was he, happening right. there. And that, so let me just add to that quickly. Again, I, uh, smart money is that Steph Curry obviously is on the Warriors right. next year. But the reason I wanted to make this point on today's show is it is a non-zero chance that tonight's his last game as a Warrior. Yeah, you got to I, I Again, even if it's you only think it's 5%, a 1 in 20, I, it's on the board. And if Clay, I don't know the interpersonal dynamic relationships amongst the Warriors. But it, I would guess – that when things are really going awry with Draymond, Steph is not pulling Andrew Wiggins' ear or Jonathan Kaminga. It's Clay. Right. It's him and Clay, like, man, talking about it maybe on Clay's boat. And if Clay is in Orlando and he's like, what, who am I going to, you know what I mean? Who am I? Because Dray, I don't think Draymond's all of a sudden going to chill. Like, when, when we go through these inevitable things next year, I just think there's a lot of ram, you know, ripple effects depending on how this next few days and maybe few hours for the Warriors go. They also thought they had that guy in Jordan Poole to replace Clay. Obviously, yeah. that wasn't the case. Maybe it's committed. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.